And we are underway in this Big Ten contest. Young's got the ball at the four. And he is laid down at the 16. First and ten, Hawkeyes. Out of the eye. Tate's going to pass. Looks downfield, and this one sails out of bounds incomplete. Let's take a look at the Hawkeyes. Backs and receivers right now. Clinton Solomon, one of the receivers. Herb Grigsby starts for Ed Hinkle, Scott Chandler. Albert Young and Tom Bush up front. Brian Farron centers the line. Ben Gates and Mike Jones at the left side. Marshall Yonda and Mike Elgin on the right. Second down and 10 after the incomplete pass. The Hawkeyes fresh after a road victory at Purdue, looking to carry momentum in a two-game winning streak. But Indiana's defensive line with the stop, and Indiana's defense off to a good start. Let's take a look at that defense right now. Starting on that front line, Victor Adianju, Russ Richardson, Charlie Emerson, and Ben Ishola. The linebackers a good group. Kyle Killian, John Pinozo, and Josh Moore. And in that secondary, Leslie Majors and Tracy Porter on the outside, Troy Grossfield and Will Myers are your safeties. Craig, this is where Drew Tate has grown accustomed to having Ed Hinkle, a third down receiver. He's the guy he's got confidence in. With Hinkle being out, is that going to cause a little hesitation in Drew Tate? Out of the shotgun pass, incomplete. That junior walk on has earned the punting duties over John Gallery over the last couple of games and done a fine job. Rosefield with some room to run at the 45 and crosses mid-third road game of the year for Indiana. They split their first two, losing their Big Ten road contest at Wisconsin. First pass is complete to the outside to James Bailey. And let's take a look at the starters. Bailey out there with Hardy and Thigpen. Jakeem Gilmore as well. And the tight end is Matt O'Neill. Chris Taylor is the tailback. Up front, Chris Mangiro anchors the line. Hatcher and Fry on the right side. Isaac Sills, Adam Hines on the left side. Very veteran, experienced group in the front line for Indiana. After a gain of five, second down and five. Out of the shotgun. And that spread offense. Powers throw it. Pass complete. Hardy's got it. And a first down. Kenna Webema. Matt Kroll. Mitch King. Brian Madison across that front line. The linebackers may not get any better than Greenway and Hodge. Add Edmund Miles into the mix as well. Take a look at that defensive backfield. Adam Shada, Haskell, Merrick, and Johnson. Very thin in their defensive secondary. A couple of injuries are really running Iowa thin back there. Taylor, no room to run. Powers to his right. Looks, throws, completes the pass to Hardy. Right till the end on every play. If they do that, he's got enough talent, things will take care of themselves. Third down and seven. Powers straight back, has this one deflected. He's facing a big test here on the road. Crowd on their feet. The throw. Taylor will be stopped. No game. Football much better field position than on their first possession, which was inside the 20 where they were stopped. Drew Tate over center. Rolls, fires. Hits his tight end, Scott Chandler. He's stacked up after about a four yard rock as they go out now to the stadium. And we'll have more on that in just a moment. Straight up the middle, first down run for I How about the punishment. I'll tell you what, one game suspension for the mascot. That's pretty tough. It is pretty tough. Gain of eight after the run, first down Hawkeyes. Pass goes out to Young, and he is dangerous catching the ball. Stays on his feet. He could go, one man to beat. And a huge game for the Hawkeyes that sets up first down and goal from the seven yard line of the Hoosiers. And he gets the call again. This time he is stacked up. The Hawkeyes. It's tremendous. 14 of those for touchdowns. No gain, second down and goal. Take the pass, and Young again is stacked up. Well, this is where Drew Tate and his feet become such a weapon. Straight back, quick pass, complete. Fighting to get in the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. 
Matt Malloy comes in and makes the reception and the touchdown for the Hawkeyes. Ed Hinkle again is out, so it's up to somebody else to step up, and this time it was Malloy. Matt Malloy is a big physical receiver at 6'3", over 200 pounds. Not a lot of speed, but when you snap the ball on the seven-yard line, you don't need a lot of speed. He's used to playing a physical game, and he just muscled his way into the end zone there. First contact was made outside of the end zone in a pretty good initial hit, but Malloy just too strong. Schlicker gets the extra point for Iowa, and they take... Bennett deep in the end zone. Comes out to close to the at their own 25. Powers over center. The handoff. Taylor. The 2002 season. Many of these seniors only with one loss in their career at home is Taylor. 10 contest. Blake Powers getting an earful from both sides. Rolls to his right, throws, and it is caught out there at the 40-yard. Actually, it caught a pass, so this new young group with Blake Powers leading the way. He's thrown a touchdown to seven different receivers out of his 18. This one to Bailey. Dealt with. Second down and six. Powers goes back to work. Hand off this time to Yamar Washington. Looking downfield, fires in traffic, and that one, this one is caught out there by Gilmore. On it to keep the Hoosiers with the football. First down at the 40 of Iowa. Makes the handoff to Washington. Powers rolling out to his right. Looks downfield and throws it out of bounds. Didn't have anybody in. Powers has Washington in that backfield. He goes out now, catches the pass. Looking for some running room. Eludes the first tackler. Hoosiers two for three on third down conversions. Flag comes in. And that does not help. But don't force it. Take your dump off and play the next one. Third and 13. Powers dumps the pass off to Washington and just simply nowhere to go. Defense being the strength. Make Iowa go 80, 90 yards to score. Don't shorten the field for him. And this one will be a touchback. Good as a strong safety. So Iowa's got the football in the lead at their own 20-yard line. And off to Young, trying to break something to the outside. Gets up to the 20 -yard update. Keeping her eye on the Big Ten and some big games across the country. Big gamer coming up for the Hawkeyes. And a first down. Andy Turvey, Big Ten, as it's turning out to be. How competitive is that? Run for Young. Let's check in again with Mike Leeson. Chris, that knows how to use the backs in the running game. And they've gotten him involved. He knows how to use the backs in the passing game. And they've really got Brian Calhoun involved, both running and throwing the ball. Second down and six. Take the hand off Young, and he is tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. To work on is to stay away from the terrible play, the terrible throw that can lead to an, an interception or a big positive play for the other team. How about the big throw here and the big catch, Solomon? Just catching the football last week against Purdue, a couple of touchdowns. Young opens it up on his feet inside the 20, and he's in for the score. Touchdown, Iowa. Albert Young from 31 yards out, and the big pass play opened up a big run for Young. And the Hawkeyes are off to the start that they wanted against Indiana. Their second touchdown of the opening quarter. Greg, you don't run the ball as well as Iowa does to the outside without having wide receivers that are physical and good blockers. And they did an excellent job on that play. Schlicker tag. They need to be careful here, down 14 to nothing, that they don't let this game get any more out of hand and they can continue running the ball as well as throwing it. And Bennett fields his punt and goes out of bounds. So Bennett chose to take that bounce on the kickoff and 
went out of bounds with it rather than wait for the penalty. And how about the big run starting from establish that run? Don't Absolutely, you? especially still in the first quarter. Indiana needs to stay in what their game plan is. And again, the handoff this time efficient numbers, 9 of 11, 56 yards. Three of his receivers to the top. Goes to one of them and Baylor. He's got it. It's there's Norm Parker, the defensive coordinator for Iowa. Pass complete. Bailey, first down. A lot of their schemes. This time Washington trying to spin but can't spin on. Would be short gains into some big plays, and that's why they're lopsided in Iowa's favor. And Iowa had a 51-yard reception and a 31-yard touchdown run. Pass is complete out there to thick pin line to Thick pin to keep the drive alive. They're just in Iowa territory. Howard's out of the shotgun. Fires and finds his man Harding is brought down right away out. More questions. All right, first down at 10 from the 36. Nowhere to go for Taylor. Quint. Second down at 11. Powers out of the shotgun, rolls right, looks, fires, finds his receiver, and Hardy knocked out of bounds at the... Plays basketball for the Hoosers. Yeah, you bet the two-sport star with his fourth catch. Alfred, of course, one of the greatest Hoosier basketball players ever. Lobs just one towards the end zone. And three, the second fourth down of the first half. The Hoosiers are going for, failed in their first attempt from the 30-yard line. This one sails way over the head of the 6-7, 21 straight home victories. This time the pass and it's dropped. And let's chess. Second down and 10. Take the jump off. Young. First down as he crosses the 40-yard line. We've gotten him involved in the passing game and has tur have turned that into some big plays. Short gainer to the 45, and you saw with the from behind. Damian Sims in the backfield now. Fake to him. Tate looks downfield for his tight end. And this one bobbled, nearly caught, but dropped. Made a nice play indeed. And this one dropped by. Think more about Ed Hinkle not being in the lineup. The third down possession receiver for Iowa. This field calls for the fair catch at the 21-yard line. First down and 10 for Indiana, taking over at their own 21. This time they go to the ground game. Taylor, seven rushes, only 17 yards. Another call to the ground. They're fighting for... Third and four. Powers. Fires behind being allowed to at this point, not downfield. Well, I think Iowa plays good tight coverage, and I think he's just off at this point in his passing game right now, and he needs to get back into a rhythm. Good boot by Beatty, the return by Johnson up near the 40 yard line. He's got Albert Young in the backfield. He gets the football, eludes one tackler. Stopped after a year. The quarterback for Wisconsin that's doing well. I think you look at Michael Robinson who settled in at one position and is playing well. But I, I don't think you can overlook what Drew Stanton has done to this point for Michigan State. There's no question he makes in order to continue to win. It's amazing that he came in and played special teams in John L. Smith's first year. He just wanted to be on the field. Tate in trouble. Not sure if he lost that football or not today until then. Andy Fenstermaker. Beautiful punt. Grossfield calls for the fair catch. And does so at the 16-yard line. Conferences, those teams get used to playing each other. Powers throws and completes his pass. Powers is spread. His pass is out now to seven different receivers. Goes to Bailey again. Has that one stripped away and fortunate that it was, goes out of bounds. Third down and short. Powers rolls, throws. Has Hardy first down. And he's brought down to the th key catch. First and 10 from the 31. Powers looks downfield. 
nowhere going to Jakeem Gilmore. Iowa defense. This is where some holes can open up underneath if the quarterback chooses to run. Powers runs this time. Ball comes loose. And it looks like the hoop. Here's the call. After review, there is indisputable video evidence that the runner was down by contact. Let's go to Guy Hardy on the outside. Powers out of the shotgun. Looks to his right, fires, and it looks like this one is complete at midfield. And one catch. Good game by Hardy so far. Six catchers came in by far leading the team with 34. Powers again on the run, takes a hit. Down at the 39. All right, Quinn, thank you. First down and 10 for the Hoosiers. Just inside the 40-yard line of Iowa. Nowhere to run there. Humble. out of the shotgun throws this one knocked down he was looking for Hardy out there shade on the Western and Ohio and Michigan State they have a lot of success third down and 12 10th play of the drive going for it all Hardy downfield he's got the football at the one yard line first down and goal power straight ahead touchdown Hoosiers and that caps an impressive drive for Indiana and they get on the board trying to trim their 14-point deficit in half. Talked about how they needed to be productive on that drive. Blake Powers settled down, threw some nice passes, and some players around him, most notably James Hardy, started making some plays. Blake Powers' first career rushing touchdown on first down and goal just took the snap and followed his center, Chris Mangiro, straight into the end zone. Joe Kleinsmith comes in to try to tack on the extra point. An impressive 11 play drive for the Hoosiers. And the extra point is good. And that 14 point lead by Iowa is gone. Kleinsmith goes with the short kickoff. Field, it's going to be good field position for Iowa over the 40 yard line. Let's check in with my time left in our clock here, however, four minutes plus for the Hawkeyes. Tate goes to the air right away and finds his tight end. And a perfect throw by Tate. Tate fakes the handoff under pressure. And wisely throws this best start since the 94 team. That's that record of 4 and 1. Last team to have a winning record at Indiana. Third down and 12. And that Hoosier defense rise to the occasion one more time. Tate looks downfield, throws. This one incomplete. And fourth down. Leader stepping up. Instant maker the boot. And looks like it may have gone off the side of his foot. Rosefield slips, but is able to make momentum now. You've got a quarterback with a little more confidence. And over three minutes to go, see what Indiana wants to do with this. Powers flushed out of there. Trying to find somebody and wafts this one out of bounds. Powers 19 out of 27 for 172 yards here in the first half. To pass again. Pass number 28 is complete. And he's got his guy Hardy out there, and it looks like he has picked up another the clock. First and 10 from their own 29, an 11-yard gain on the pass play to Hardy. Out of the shotgun again, Powers. This time he's got some room to run. Look at him make the fake. But quickly brought down. His, got four there, second down and six. This time dumps this one off to Washington. He fights for extra yards, will be stopped. Shiana, six of ten on third downs in this game already. Powers throws complete. Hardy, first down, and he gets out of bounds at the 45 yards. Between these two in their first year playing football together. On the shotgun again, in trouble. Powers throws downfield and throws it away. Throw the ball. They've done an outstanding job. Ask anybody, it all starts there for this IU team. And second down, this one may have been hit. As he's for Indiana, they're 12. The dump off. And not a whole lot of his 10-yard line as he gets set to take Tyson Beatty's punt. Heavy rush, got a piece of it. 
Iowa's going to come out of there with decent field position with over 40 seconds to go here in the first half. Looks like he got a piece of it. Downfield take. So keeping those safeties up at the line, and they've been burned a couple of times. Tate lost one up, solid again, and a flag comes in. Tracy came out. They only have 17 penalties themselves all season. At all. Not a great angle, but I don't see any interference on that call right there. For those guys in the secondary. No, they got to be near perfect. Now field. And a big hit after the kicker, but came on now to be in that secondary, which almost never happens. And he has played outstanding football as a, as a free safety. He has been. They have that timeout remaining. Straight ahead on the first down carry for Majerus. Sets it up, straight downfield. Nobody there but Porter. Ten yards. Scott Chandler back in at tight end for Iowa after taking the hit. Tate. Downfield. Chandler. Did he make the catch? Video replay official rules. 35 yard field goal to end the first half. Is there for Iowa. And a big turn of events to close. They've been able to take advantage of some of the insecurities in the openings that Iowa, that uh, Indiana has given them. The opportunities been presented to Iowa, they've been able to take advantage of it. Pass is complete out there to Thigpen, down in 13. A very productive second quarter. A lot of time, Powers. They want to think about running. He's threw it way over the line of scrimmage. And so flags come. He is from Australia and brought a lot of personality from down under to this football team, and he gets off a beauty. All marked all the way back to the 38. Sims breaks free. Finally tripped up. Time expiring to go into halftime to extend their lead to 10 points. That after they had a 14-0 lead and Indiana had come back late in the second quarter. And a run by. Unnecessary roughness, number 61, offense. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. Just amazing the discipline that Kirk Ferentz has with his Iowa football team. Tate spins away, looks downfield, wide open, Solomon, touchdown! That last spin away by Tate may have freed up his receiver. Craig, we talked about Drew Tate and his ability to get big yards on small numbers of plays. Another example where as he scrambles around, he keeps his eyes down the field better than any quarterback in the Big Ten with buying time, and that's how his eight And Clinton Solomon. Here's the kickoff after the score. Bennett's from his five has to turn around and find some place to run. Going to do it, leaving his feet that way. Let's check in with Mike. Indiana starting deep in their own territory. Taylor, not a whole lot of room at all. Back to the originals. Indiana started flat on their first series of the second half. Iowa came out with a bang. And here's a big pass play over to Thigpen. It's been away one last time to get himself free to make that pass. I have said a couple of times, I think he does the best job of any quarterback in the Big Ten, keeping his eyes down the field as he scrambles and drives. Third and 11. I should say second and 11, and this one complete. Second reception of the game. Sets up third down and short. Straight ahead goes Powers to pick up the first down. First down keeps the drive alive. 
Right up the middle, nice hole. Good gainer for Indiana. Terrible tackling going on in the Big Ten is just obvious as you've seen simple plays that ought to be short gains turn into huge touchdowns. And the second down and three, Washington. Maybe a yard. Let's, wow, I can really do this. In his redshirt freshman season. On third down. He needs to get this playoff quickly. And he does. Play stands. First down. Taylor. And suddenly things opening up on the ground. Week with the progress this young kid has made. Boy, he is a special one. And we're watching here at Indiana, the Big Ten. Nearly picked off. Instead, it's third down and three. Powers tosses. Pass complete. Another first down for the Hoosiers. This one over to first and ten. Iowa 45. Powers looks downfield. Hardy open. Clearly out of bounds and an unnecessary hit. Good call by the officials. First down at the 30 of Iowa. 13th play of this drive. Big pin on the reverse. And well covered. Well, I tell you, Wisconsin's defense has given up more big plays this year than maybe the last couple of years together. Powers throws one up. Will Hardy catch it? He does. Was he inbounds? He was. What a one-handed grab. And now it's going to be overruled out of bounds. Craig, I think that's a good call. I think Hardy's right foot came down out of bounds before the left one was inbounds as he caught the ball. We're seeing one big game. There's indisputable video evidence that there was a catch at the seven yard line. First down, Indiana. Good call. They're going to go in the third quarter, trailing 24 to 7. Taylor gets the call, tries to find some running room, gets inside the five, stretches down to the five. Taylor, not quite enough to get to the end zone. See what they do. 18th play of the drive. Pass over the middle, juggled and caught for the touchdown. And who else? James Hardy on the reception, and Indiana strikes back. I think that tells you a little bit about what Terry Hefner's thinking. Throwing the ball there, in my opinion, he knew he was going to go for it on fourth down if they didn't make it. But what a nice job by Hardy, keeping his body between the ball and the defender. That's a big body for a defensive back to have to go through to get that ball. And when you can use that to your advantage, he did a nice job. And you talked about his hands earlier. Boy, oh boy. You know, he's got to be from catching that basketball so many times in the drills he does because he's got very soft hands for a guy as big as he is who's as young as he is. And the extra point is good. That brings... But he's got to be getting him the ball, and Powers is doing a nice job, and Powers is getting good time to throw. Nice job by that offensive line. Fumble on the return. Ball still loose. It looks like Indiana may have it. Yeah, they do. Indiana comes up with the turnover. First turnover of the game. And Indiana set up an ideal position. Will Myers comes up with that recovery, it looks like. And he was given the game ball last week because he had a fumble recovery and an interception in last week's game. Kirk Ferentz can see this momentum coming away from him a little bit. Take a look now at the Cooper Tire defensive stop of the game. And it comes on special teams on the kick return, the fumble and the recovery. So that offense red hot after a 94-yard touchdown drive. Goes right to the end zone again. This one looks like it's picked off. And it is. Adam Shada's got it for Iowa. And just that fast, the turn of events, and the Hawkeyes get it back. Veteran disciplined football teams, especially defensively, know how to react to sudden change. All of a sudden, they fumble the kickoff. They're right back on the field. They've been in that situation before. They're a disciplined, disciplined defensive football team, and they come up with a big play right there. Adam Shada, who had gotten burned on the previous touchdown, comes up with a play right there on a very poor, poorly thrown ball by Blake Powers. First and 10 Hawkeyes from their 20. 
There's some running room out there for Biden. Now this Indiana defense out here. Six seniors in their front seven starters. How are they going to respond? Tate rolls, looking downfield, has to run. Puts his head down and gets up close. Back to live action here in Iowa City. Indiana's defense, consecutive Big Ten home games. Indiana's lost 14 consecutive. Iowa has won. Grossfield. Can't elude the second tackler, and then a flag comes. Five yards, so they may be in the same position again. That, you don't often see a fake run block and then run a pass route. Hardy not in there and this series to open up. Instead, they go to the tight end, Matt O'Neill makes his threat. Numbers throw me off, Randy. <laughs> You don't need 24 calories per pound of body weight. <laughs> look. From their own 11 yard line. Powers throws. Bailey's got it. First down. A bit. Now, with a little more breathing room, see if Indiana wants to open it up. Barnard at the 18. This time they go to the ground. Washington, the carrot to the Indiana receivers. Greater than 2 to 1. Short gainer, let's try. No, he didn't, but boy, didn't it help. All that play and athleticism to be able to display that. This one, however, to him won't go. Him for 137. He's made some tremendous catches. Indiana forced to punt. Johnson from his 40. Straight ahead. And gets up over his own power and He'll get a little chance to get some attention. Tate looks downfield, throws, pass is complete. First down. Take the handoff, Young trying to pick his spot. Makes something out of nothing, gets a good five, maybe. Kirk, we trust here in Iowa. Home team up by 10. They've got the football second down and four. Fumble, and it looks like the Hoosiers get it back. It has been turnover central here in the second half after a very clean first half. Second turnover for Indiana. Looked like Albert Young was just trying to make his cut before he had a firm grip of the ball. I don't think anybody from Indiana forced that ball out. Looked like a clean handoff, and no, Albert Young just lost it on his own before any Indiana player got a hand on it. Kyle Killian smothered it to give Indiana the ball back. That's a big turnover there because Iowa was knocking on Indiana's door. See the turnovers now all in the second half. Josiah son and nine. Out of the shotgun, heavy rush, screen. Taylor. Positive sign there as it looked like he was injured a moment ago. Third down and nine. Four receivers. Powers in trouble. And we'll get intentional grounding. He needed a punt. So the two turnovers that Indiana got, they went straight out. A long time to punt that one away. Fair catch called at the 40. They've got the football back in great field position at their own 42. They're trying to stick to the ground. Young, big holes. He powers his way up over midfield. For you to take over, let's run the ball and give our defense a rest. Young again trying to turn the corner. Did he get enough for the first? Off the 47 of Indiana. Fake the run, goes right downfield on the play action, looking for Solomon. And well, Iowa State back there, that was right. a real shot. Ten again, looks downfield. This one nearly picked off. Typical of what Kirk Ferentz likes to do, though, is you get the think and run, and then you go for a big play. That snap, Tate's got it. Trying to find some running room and gets run out of. Fenster maker. Offs one up. This might be a little too much, and it is. So it'll be a touchback back at the Taylor in the backfield. 
Check that Washington fakes the handoff to him. Downfield wide open Hardy at the 50, 40, 30, 20, and finally knocked out of bounds. First and 10 at the 14. Washington all kinds of room. Finally gets hold that boy. Got some ball games brewing here today so far. Washington again gets the call. Fighting to get that down. Less than a yard. Washington stays there. Powers takes the snap, tries to go straight ahead. Looks like he has enough to pick up the first down. At one point in the second half. Powers straight ahead again. Second down and goal from the two. Powers gives it to Washington. Is he in? I think he's just shot. Outside of the goal line. Will Powers get the call? There's movement on the offensive line. Side move. Wow, it's on call, but also a potential fourth down call. Out of the shotgun, Powers looks to pass. Lost one into the end zone. Bailey! Does he have a touchdown, Indiana? Back of the end zone. A great job with the footwork. Maybe the best throw Blake Powers has made today because he took something off of it. He threw it to the perfect spot and he anticipated where Bailey was going to go. And even though it was only a five yard pass, may have been the most impressive throw Blake Powers has made. James Bailey is third touchdown of the season. And Indiana making a statement here on the road. This is a team that last year after a penalty like that may have collapsed. This year, come right back and make the play. And the extra point is good. Yard line. Jones gets the call. Not a whole lot to a spot, but what a wonderful catch by Bailey. Watch that left foot. Boy, is that close to the end line? Holy cow, how he kept that thing inbound. Don't be thinking big play all the time. It's ball control, it's possession. Take the underneath stuff if it's there. Wide open, he's got his tight end, Chandler. And he's finally tripped up. First down and 10, 37-yard pickup at the 41-yard line of Indiana. Young doing some dancing down there. Picks up about four, maybe five. People call it plays, I'm sure, <laughs> suggesting go. plays, depending on which sideline you're on. Second down and five. Tate looks downfield, finds his open receiver. He's got him. <laughs> Five-yard line of the Hoosiers. First and ten, Iowa. Tate the handoff. Young's got some room, turns the corner. He's gonna get in for six. Touchdown, Iowa. 26-yard run by Albert Young. Almost a replay of the touchdown he had in the first half. When you need something to happen, coaches like to think players and not plays. And this was a great chance to see a player make a play. That was an off-tackle run, and Albert Young had the patience and the vision to let it develop, and then the acceleration to get that ball through the hole and into the end zone. And the extra point is out. They can stay in their rhythm, but they can't drop balls. They can't have negative yardage plays like that one right there. There is the sack. Powers hasn't felt the pressure a whole lot in this game, but does there. Does not make beating a punt for Indiana. End over end, away from Johnson. I was going to come out of there with good field position. They'll take with a little help from their friends up there. Special teams, oh. uh, you're seeing it today, are playing such a huge part of each and every game. Young breaks free. We got a flag. 
That's going to be the call against him. This is that game. Their season could go right down the hill with two tough losses. Now Wisconsin looks like they're going to win that game. Minnesota off of the high of their victory at Michigan to lose at home against the Badgers, knowing their history the last couple of years. And they've really got to be questioning themselves as well. Play. This team is competitive and can be competitive each and every week. They've got a defense that can stop the run. They've got a, a veteran group, but it wasn't a step backwards. Right. And I think he's going to be proud of the effort and some of the plays that, that his players made today. Young breaks free, nearly breaks another touch. Maybe the best tackling team, as we've referred to, the best tackling team in the Big Ten, player for player. There goes Sims into the end zone. Touchdown. Damian Sims. Albert Young did all the hard work, and then they brought in the sophomore, and he just busted free for the touchdown. And it looks like that'll be the clincher with 4.18 to go. Well, Terry Hepner said the problems Indiana had at Wisconsin, too many big plays. They couldn't shut Wisconsin down. Same thing today. Played very well for majority of the game defensively. Too many big plays, though, and that against a good team, you're not going to survive that. You're not going to win when that happens. To try is there that extends Iowa's lead now to a more by 17 the Indiana Hoosiers gotta hope for something big and fast and see if they get it from Bennett on the return that's his best return of the game up to the 30 in the Big Ten Powers slides takes a lick and flag comes in Edmund Miles Maybe the guilty party of a personal foul. I, I think you're right. This team. Indiana's got it in Iowa territory. They're saying, hey, we're not done yet. Maybe down by 17. Powers has to tuck it away, chase to the sideline to stop the into the Big Ten. He's gonna learn to get down quicker. This time the handoff. Taylor. Down to the he has finally gotten the passing game and the running backs on the same page at Wisconsin. And Drew Stanton, a very close second, though. Pass to Taylor. Ohio State at home with a quarterback of the wide receiver running back last year. Uh, that, that was an easy one for me. Downfield. Income for a guy that's contributed in a winning situation. Fourth down, pass complete. Bailey's got it. Stays in bounds and brought down. His disappointments. Right now, I pick Michigan because they were at one point number three in the country. And today, Purdue gets beat at USC at Notre Dame. Well, there's, uh, I was surprised to see the pep rally. Uh, Highlights on television from Notre Dame. And it may be a little fuel to the fire as this one sails out of each and every one, but that's the one right now. I think that those are the those are the winners. Yes. Or losers, depending on and a young, inexperienced quarterback, what they've been able to do. Very close second. Fourth and goal. This one sails incomplete. And one in the conference. It's amazing time of possession and more than 100 plays run by Indiana time of possession basically 40 to 20 in the Hoosiers favor as the two head coaches meet as the final second ticks away here in Iowa City the Hawkeyes win over Indiana we're going to step aside and wrap things up when we come back to Iowa City again 38 21 Hawkeyes over the Hoosiers.